So on my channel, I've tested loads of different golf balls from Titleist Pro V1s to Mizuno, Shrixen, Callaway, TaylorMade, the list goes on. But you guys in the comments section constantly ask me to test the Vice golf balls. So I've been out and bought some Vice golf balls. I'm intrigued to see if these are as good as they say, whether you and me should be using them or whether they're overrated with a bit of a cult following. Let's find out. So this ball I'm testing today is the Vice Pro Plus. And there's quite a number of Vice golf balls. I actually went online and did a ball selector and actually went through, answered loads of different questions on how fast do I swing it? What do I normally score? How far do I hit my severed iron? And this is the ball it recommended me to pick. So I went to buy two dozen and actually they were sold out. So I actually went on Amazon and bought them in the end. But on the website, they're 30 pound a dozen. And you think about that as a, as a premium golf ball, which these golf balls are trying to be, compare that to the price of a Pro V1 or a TP5. They're about a pound a ball cheaper, roughly. And the whole idea of it is because it's direct to consumer. It's only online. You do not see Vice Golf Ball in pro shops, for example. You don't see them in big retail stores. And another reason why they might be able to make them cheaper is you don't spend a load of money on sponsoring the best players in the world. You won't really see Vice Golf Ball out on tour. But they've got a massive reputation, like this weird, as I mentioned before, this cult following. People seem to love this brand of golf balls. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get them on the golf course today, test it for feel, what the spin's like, what the performance overall is like. I'm also really keen on checking durability because if this ball is lower cost price point, is it for the reasons I've just listed before why it's potentially cheaper or is it the fact the materials aren't as good? Like, is this cover going to cut up more than a normal golf ball, a premium ball like a Pro V1 or a TP5, etc.? We'll find that out. Also, I want to test it for distance. I've got my GC quad. We're going to test it out on the golf course to see how far this ball flies. So a couple of holes played and so far so good, but I want to start testing these properly. First place I like to start with a golf ball is on the green. Let's see how these feel for hitting some putts and some chips from close range. So after spending some time on the putting green, testing the feel of these Vice Pro Plus golf balls, and I hit some shots off the green as well, some little chips, and some pitches as well, feel-wise, they feel good. I typically use a Pro V1, and I like the feel of that because it's quite soft. This isn't as soft as that, but it's not supposed to, because this ball sits much more in the category of the Pro V1 X golf ball, which is a little bit harder anyway. So it, it feels good. It feels like, a, like I'd expect this type of golf ball to feel. And you know what I did like when putting with it as well? The line on the golf ball, like it's almost got a preset lineup line, which I personally use, so I'm a big fan of that. Now, I want to pick up on something straight away, because I'm going to test this a little bit more in depth in a minute. But just after a few shots, these are the balls I've just been testing with then, check out these kind of scuffs. Like that cover, I mean, it's a bit of dirt on there as well, but that cover there from a few wedge shots that I've hit looks like it's scratched up a little bit. So as I mentioned, I'll do a bit more of a durability test in a moment, but I just wanted to highlight that straight away because with the price of this golf ball, is that is that going to be an issue? Are you going to see a bit more scratching of the cover? We'll find out in a moment. Before that, I've got to a par three hole here. Because one thing I did notice on those shots, when I was pitching them into the green with a lob wedge and a shot I would expect to spin like crazy, I wasn't seeing loads of spin. Now that might have been because the greens weren't quite as receptive today, potentially, but I expected to see more spin. So let's see what these golf balls perform like on GC quad into this par three. And who knows, 
Last time I was on this hole, I nearly got a hole in one. Let's see if I can do it again with one of these, or get, at least get close. Okay, so I'm 172 yards away from the flag, so it's a pretty nice seven iron. I'll see what it does on GC quad. Just to give you kind of a rough idea, over 6,000 spin would be good. Close to 7,000 would be very, very good. Let's see how they get on. So I didn't get a hole in one, so basically that ball's rubbish. <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, I get some nice shots there. I didn't get it dead close to the flag, but I was more trying to get consistent distances and spin. Now, bar the first shot, which I'll be honest, I hit a little bit fat, the other five shots have done very, very good on distance control. Not only on what I've seen on GC quad, but also what I've seen on the green. I want to show you this. This last one, 165 yards of carry distance, which is about what I normally get. 7,759 RPM spin. That's high, like really high. So from what I saw in that wedge shot and the data I'm getting here, maybe those wedge shots just weren't in prime spinny position, but the spin on there and the numbers I was getting on GC quad are very, very good. Right, next test, durability, cut one in half. And then finally, I want to test it with driver on this thing. Let's see how they do with the big stick. So before I finish off the testing of these balls, I want to run a giveaway. One on YouTube, one on Facebook. So if you watch on either platform, you can enter to win a dozen of these Vice Pro Plus golf balls. If you're on YouTube, make sure you subscribe to the channel and like the video, leave a comment down below and I'll pick someone at random. And if you're on Facebook, make sure you're following the page, like the video, and again, leave a comment down below. I'll pick someone at random to win a dozen of these Vice golf balls. Right, what I'm gonna do, my somewhat trademarked durability test now. I'm gonna take a brand new one out of the box. I'm gonna hit 10 out of this bunker. And what I found hitting them out of bunker in the past is that debris and that deb debris and also hitting it with a lob wedge can often scuff up the cover. Let's see how these Vice golf balls go in this test. After seeing those little scratches, I'm not sure, we'll find out. Durability test done. It's done a lot better than I expected. A lot better. There is one bit of a, a scuff mark on the actual Vice logo, but I have seen many a golf ball do much worse in a durability test like this. That's impressed me more than I thought it was gonna do. I did, after those early signs, I thought it was gonna scratch up, but it's really not. We've got one more test off the tee because I've tested quite a lot of golf balls at a lower price point recently. And one of them comes to mind like Costco. When they're making the golf ball themselves and selling direct to consumer, they can make them cheaper because they're not spending all this money on these superstar players like some other brands might be doing. The big downfall with Costco ball, it was short off the tee. Like hitting it with driver just didn't seem to pop. So I'm intrigued to test this off the tee to see what it's like on distance. Before we get to there though, this would not be a Rickshaw's ball video if we didn't chop one in half. I think this one's supposed to be a four piece construction. I'm intrigued to see what the inside of it looks like. And also if everything looks in toward, I feel like already seeing glimpses, I feel like it's gonna be quite colorful. Mm, very nice. So you've got the four piece construction there. You've again, yeah, I've actually seen this from quite a few brands now where the that first layer is almost like a, a, a squishy kind of tran transparent material. Inside you've got the bright green and the black in a color. It's very, very clean, very nice. All looks symmetrical, all looks to order. Now, without further ado, let's get to the last hole. Let's get driver teed up and see if the Vice Pro Balls can do it with distance. So everything's set up for the distance test. Let me summarize first, so far, I've enjoyed testing these golf balls. Like this Vice Pro Plus golf ball is ticking all the boxes. It feels good around the green. It spins well. Certainly spinning into that par three was very impressive. Durability, definitely did better than I expected it to do. 
So the last test I mentioned is going to be the distance test. So for me, when I'm hitting driver, I like a ball to carry in the 280 yard mark and over 160 miles per hour ball speed. So that's what it's got to match up to. And it goes back to that first question I asked, like, is this ball overrated? You know, it's got a mega cult following. Feels like all the cool kids use vice golf balls because it's kind of, I, I get it as well, it's a bit different. And like even touching on the box, like it's a cool looking box matte black with almost like the vice tattooed into the top of it and instead of most brands where there's some crazy ideas on distances and spin all it has on the back of this box is some like mad fish like it's so different to any other golf box i've ever seen really before sometimes you want a golf ball that's just not a standard titus pro v1 i remember when i was growing up i used to try all different styles of golf balls just because it was different it was a bit of a different experience and again, the price on these balls, I mean, the, in some cases, £15 a dozen cheaper than a Pro V1 or a TP5. That's massive. And if they perform as well, which so far, as I mentioned, they seem to be doing so. Like I see these matching up very closely to a Pro V1 in performance. I really do. So we've got the driver to go yet. But overall, I think it's a good ball, I do. Could it all crumble now? Let's find out, let's see what it does with the driver. So driver test complete. And after hitting five shots with the big stick and the Vice Pro Plus golf balls, distance-wise, average 280.2 yards. So tick, it hit the criteria. 161 miles per hour ball speed, an average spin of 2,200 spin. The flight was superb, like really good. Going back to that point, the over, uh, overrated or whatever it may be, no, they're a very good golf ball and definitely worth trying without question. As I mentioned, you can have a chance of winning a dozen. Make sure you like the video, subscribe and leave a comment on Facebook or YouTube. Or if you want to switch over to either, you can do both as well. Guys, thanks for watching. It's my review of the Vice Golf Balls. You guys recommended it. And I'll be honest, you didn't let me down. They're a very good golf ball. We'll see you next time.